10 on your side is your back to school station. Thousands of students in Hampton Roads who eat breakfast and lunch at school may taste a few differences in their favorite dishes when school starts back up again. 10 on your side, Stephanie Hudson checked out a couple cafeteria kitchens for you. Earlier this year, the USDA announced changes to make the school meals healthier. Menu changes aren't required until next year, but many school districts are diving in now. Sugary sweet cereals, yogurts, and chocolate milk are a few of the favorites getting a healthy makeover. It's a gradual change. Schools are reducing the amount of sugar and sodium to meet new USDA requirements. We'll actually have healthy athletes, healthy employees, healthy um, students. Um, it, it, it's brain food. Public schools, including Portsmouth and Virginia Beach, started making changes a couple of years ago. It's kind of like a puzzle. You start to see how I take away a little bit of sodium. What can I add? Maybe a little more acidity with lemon juice or things like that to make the flavor pop. The majority of sugar and sodium comes from processed foods. School chefs are now making more items from scratch. We're doing a hot honey chicken wrap, uh, again, our roasted veggie uh, wrap and using farm to table programs to purchase fresh local meats and produce. We're trying to make sure if we cut the sugar content, we don't have that, those extra problems as we get older, diabetes, other issues like that in that nature. But will it work? Remember changes to school lunches during the Obama era? They failed because kids refused to eat the food. They definitely are the best critics in the entire world. This time around, school chefs say it's different. They're making changes gradually, giving students samples and listening to their input, as well as starting gardens where possible to let the students have a hand in what they put in their mouths. Not only are they getting better nutrition, last year Larkspur Middle School's principal found when the number of students eating breakfast at school doubled, kids had better behavior. Discipline referrals were cut in half. Stephanie Hudson, 10 on your side.